Hello, in this video I'm going to share with you some results of an exciting study in people who've had a mastectomy who are planning to get reconstruction. In particular, it focuses on the duration of radiation therapy and type of radiation therapy people received. Before I go on, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to our channel because we're always putting out new videos and updated videos, often because you've made a suggestion. I'd also love to invite you to go to yerba.com to get your personalized Yerba report. So in somebody who has had a mastectomy, who wants reconstruction, who needs to have radiation therapy, we delay the reconstruction until they're done with radiation therapy. So if we know you need radiation therapy and you're going to have an implant or use tissue from your own body, we like to wait until you've healed from radiation therapy before we start your reconstruction. This can be really hard. You're waiting for your reconstruction. Now you have to go through six and a half weeks of radiation therapy and only after you heal can you start on rebuilding the breast mound. Well, investigators out of Huntsman Cancer Institute at, in Utah did a randomized study with patients who had a large primary tumor or a small primary tumor with N1 or N2 disease, no more than nine lymph nodes, who were planning on having reconstruction after radiation therapy. Half the patients opted for implant reconstruction and about another 50% opted for what's called autologous reconstruction, where tissue from the body is used to reconstruct the breast mound. And people were randomly assigned to either conventional radiation therapy, which is the longer six, six and a half weeks course of radiation therapy, or a shorter course of what's called hypofractionated radiation therapy given over three weeks. And they found at the end of the study period and the end of monitoring that complications were similar in both groups. So 14% of people in the shorter course of radiation therapy had complications, and 12% of people in the more standard radiation therapy had complications. Now, one thing to notice, this is much lower than the standard complication rate we prepare people for as they embark on radiation therapy. Usually we tell people that 30% of people will have complications. So this rate for both groups was really low, which is intriguing and something to make note of. These may be people who were much more able to tolerate radiation therapy, who were willing to go on the study. Now, they might not have known ahead of time, but they didn't have concerns that they wouldn't be able to tolerate radiation therapy. The outcomes were non-inferior. What that means is it wasn't worse to get the shorter course than it was to get the standard course. Why does this matter for you? If you know you're having radiation therapy, after a mastectomy, and your plan is to have reconstruction thereafter, check with your cancer center and see if they might consider hypofractionated or a shorter course of radiation therapy in your case. Not every cancer center can do this, but if there's one nearby, this is something that you can talk about with your medical team. If you want to learn more about your treatment options, I'd love to invite you to go to yerba.com to get your personalized report. Your Yerba report is created by, once you give us access to securely access your medical records, taking everything that we know about your tumor, all the procedures you've had or haven't had done, and cross-referencing that with the latest medical information. Go to yerba.com to get your personalized report. I hope this has been interesting and helpful for you. Drop a comment or question below. And thanks as always for watching. We'll see you next time.